What's up guys, Ricky here with another quick custom of the Black Lantern Batman. So uh, I didn't do a whole lot of custom work on it, I just did a few things, so I just wanted to share with you real quick kind of what I did. So this should be a pretty quick video. Uh, so uh, let's see, if we look up close, did a little silver highlighting just on the buttons, nothing fancy there. Um, but the big majority of the customization stuff was on the cape, so I'll talk through that in just a second. But I did a little black wash on this just to kind of you know, make it look, bring out some of the textures. Didn't overly do it, just did a little bit. Um, I could have painted much more on it if I wanted to, but I just saw this figure and just thought like it could look so much better with super simple um, changes. So uh, let's see real quick. So <clears throat> what I did, obviously, like I said, some silver highlights there. Uh, I took a gray, a medium gray, because I was trying to figure out how to bring out this detail and this texture because it looked really good, so I was trying to think about how can I how can I really shine this through? And all I did is take a medium gray, put very little paint on it, and went over the details. And what's really cool is it made it look really good, right? It brought out the details. It still has that purple look to it, but, right, it just looks distressed now, which I think is really cool. And it was a super easy process. So I basically did that on all of the blue pieces, even the wrists and the feet and the legs. Right, just to make it look a little distressed, because I know, I mean, these figures, they're they are dead, right? They're not supposed to look very clean. Um, and then I did add just a little bit of extra black wash on the face, nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, but that's it overall. So, like I said, nothing crazy, but I just wanted to bring out these purple textures. Because uh, even here, look at this. I don't know if you noticed, I did not notice there was all these really crazy textures and details on the inside of the cape. And like, look at the tears and all the pieces. Like, that's really cool. So that gray, just putting it barely on there, really brought out those pieces as well, too. So, like I said, McFarlane, like on his toys, they got some really cool details. But a lot of times they're just hidden because of the lack of paint application, right? So if you want to do this, right, just take a, a medium gray, barely put any paint on it, and just, uh, yeah, just brush it over the top. Uh, you should It should barely show up when you do it. But, right, it'll just bring out these textures and details. So, yeah, I think it took it from being a decent figure to actually a whole lot better looking from just something that simple. So, cool. So, that's all I want to share with you today. So, nothing crazy with this one. But, um, yeah, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll keep bringing customizations to you. And I will keep doing reviews, etc. So, thank you all so much for tuning in. And I will see you next time.